belt freezers have been used for a long time. The old systems involved running a steel mesh conveyor belt through a freezer room. However, this did not provide a very good heat transfer because of non-uniform airflow in the freezing room. In the modern systems, again a steel mesh conveyor is used except it is run through an insulated tunnel type enclosure. In tunnel type belt freezers, air moves up through the product and there is good contact between air and the product. However, when placing food on the conveyor belt, care should be taken to avoid open spaces on the belt. This helps prevent air channeling. Air channeling is when air finds the path of least resistance and moves through the open spaces without coming into good contact with the food. Many belt freezing systems use a single belt that is run straight through the tunnel. However, there are also multi-tier belts that may include two or three tiers. In this case, product from one tier falls onto the second tier below. In belt freezers, one can expect to get convective heat transfer coefficient anywhere between 30 and 60 watts per square meter Celsius. Some of the common products frozen using the belt freezers are chicken portions, consumer cuts of beef and pork, raw meat patties, fish fillets, and French fries. Again, in this type of system, the product is separated from each other on the belt, so it is individually frozen, and sometimes this method is also referred to as individual quick freezing or IQF. Another variation of a belt freezer is a spiral freezer that we will see in another tutorial.